What is up, y'all? It's Isaiah here from Good Weather, and I got my co-host, a new co-host for today, Malika Thompson. <laughs> Just going to give you guys a quick little recap of 2023. We're so thankful for the year, you know? Definitely was able to, to do a lot of new things and yeah. uh, see a lot of new people in the store and just, you know, we're, 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 we're thankful, you know, we're just gonna give you guys a quick little recap. First quarter last year, January, what, what, how was it for you? Um, honestly, I feel like we hit the ground running cause we really wrote down our goals. Like we knew everything that we wanted to do, um, for the first quarter and especially for January, like we really wanted to focus on uh, building up for Black History Month as we are a black owned business. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we could also kind of give back to the black community and also kind of feature other black owned businesses. Um, I feel like everything that we wrote down, we were able to almost everything that we wrote down in our goals for the first quarter, we were able to do. It's crazy. One crazy story I have. So we wrote down that we wanted to meet with eBay. We had no connections to eBay. We eBay sneakers in Canada, by the way. Um, we literally wrote down that we wanted to meet with the director. We wrote her name down. And it's crazy because I think a week after that, she literally messaged us and said, hey, let's meet up. So that was, I think. Yeah, that was pretty coolest. surreal. That was a yeah. really cool time for sure. Yeah. yeah. We were pretty like intentional. All Definitely like the first quarter, we were very, very intentional. And we were able to truly plan out and 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 work our plans honestly yeah, at that point yeah i think we were we were pretty consistent on social media at that time Zab, what would you say was the coolest thing though that like we did for first quarter other than meeting with ebay uh we definitely met a lot of like other brand owners which is pretty cool um yeah. like wishing you well <laughs> uh yeah. brethren um, youngest in charge youngest in charge yeah. yeah yeah definitely met like and had a lot of cool events at the store i which i liked for sure yeah, it was cool being able to, like, have a pop-up in the store. Like, we're lucky that we're able to have this space, so it was nice to be able to bring in other brands that didn't have, like, a, a physical home where they could sell their stuff. And I think we definitely made some nice connections with Whoa, we left out the biggest, like... Yeah, the biggest biggest one. Biggest, <laughs> yeah, the biggest... Do, would you call it, like, a milestone or, like, the biggest... Definitely a big milestone, for sure. Yeah. Like, <laughs> guys, thank you both for being here. Fascinating topic, like I said, uh, down to the store. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I remember uh, growing up, I'm not gonna say I always wanted to be on the news, but like <laughs> it was definitely like something cool. I want to say, yeah. And then yeah. to actually like be on the news one day, like, like sitting down on there, the news. doing an interview with the lady there, the news lady. But yeah, it was crazy, honestly. Yeah, honestly, I think that was like the highlight. I think, like I said, first quarter we really went in heavy, and like we really did everything that we could do. Like I didn't even know that being on the news would be possible for us, especially as like a. Brand we were new, fresh, yeah. Yeah, business. We're a reselling business. You don't really see them on the news too much. Um, but, like, I emailed, I sent out an email, and the email got picked up. It's, so you always got to shoot your shot, guys, because the worst they can say is no, but you always got to shoot your shot. Yeah, that's true. Thank yeah, so that was, I guess, the first quarter. It, I feel like we, we really went in strong, and then second quarter. Second quarter, I feel like, so we just started to get vintage it, around like the end of 2022 so going into 2023 we really tried to push heavy on the vintage and then we kept getting more and more i feel like people started realizing that we didn't only have sneakers and streetwear we also had vintage which is like stuff that like if you can't afford 200 dollars shoes you can afford like a 20 dollars shirt so they were people were able to come in and buy more stuff which i think also helped with us that like any person that walked into the store could actually afford and walk out with something. So I think that also helped with like our overall business plan and and uh, sales goal as well. Yeah, it's true. We started off with like, let's say 25 pieces of vintage clothing, which is very, very small. I think, <laughs> yeah, I think it was like legit, it. probably like half a rack of clothes yeah. at that point. And we just spaced it out to look full. But yeah, now we probably have like 200 pieces of vintage clothing. Maybe even more. But yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Probably, probably a bit more, honestly. But yeah, definitely always trying to get, trying to get just more, more for our audience, more for our customers. So yeah, uh, right now I'll say we're pretty stocked up on vintage. Um, yeah. I think even going forward, we kind of want to do like, um, like a collection drop. So like, basketball tees one weekend, and then the another weekend it's just like all baseball tees maybe, mm -hmm. and stuff yeah. like that, and maybe have like a nice curated selection of vintage. Right now it's pretty curated, but even getting more and more created 
with yeah. it and stuff. Yeah, Isaiah puts all the vintage right now, and he's a super picky guy. <laughs> so any vintage that we have is genuinely nice because he goes through and picks them all himself. So thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I, don't tell him I said it, but he has some nice style. So. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I feel like that was quarter two. We just continued to push. I feel like in our personal lives, we also got pretty busy um, second quarter. So I feel like we may have slowed down a little bit with the social media and stuff. Um, but yeah, that was our second quarter. Oh, and the second quarter, we started a podcast. So y'all don't see me in the podcast. I'm behind the scenes. <laughs> but Isaiah and Aiden started a podcast called The Sneaker Forecast. Yeah, the four, this is, I think we finished like one full season of like 12 episodes or something like that. So yeah, yeah which was pretty fun, honestly. Um, even just connected, connecting with like Aiden and, and Hammy and, and stuff like that was just really fun. Shout like, out to the Western Sneaker Club. <laughs> yeah, good old Western Sneaker Club is going strong over there in Western. Um, but yeah, it's just always fun like connecting with other sneaker heads and stuff like that. So definitely going forward, I think we're going to have a YouTube video uh, every week we want to keep it going forward so that's yeah. going to be minimum 52 videos long form videos on youtube y'all better watch every one of them every single <laughs> minute of it we'll be looking at the views oh yeah and then i guess even in like the summertime we were able to do um a back to school event with one of our good friends kwasi which is very very cool um yeah that was third quarter right yeah 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 that was third quarter so yeah that we did two three things i think with quasi we did a giveaway actually let me just let me just break it down in terms of what the event was so basically um quasi um and his business the reach series he partnered with the black creek health center and uh brought a bunch of high school age kids to the store they were all given 200 dollars to spend and then there was also a giveaway as well so one kid ended up being able to buy jordan four because he had like it was like four hundred, five hundred dollars he had to spend, right? Yeah, I think so. That he got to spend. Yeah, he got additional two fifty on top of it, so he had like yeah, four fifty to spend. Yeah, four fifty to spend. Yeah. Um, Isaiah um gave a talk to the kids as well as another business called Canboo. They do um sneaker cleaning, so check them out. They're really dope as well. So Isaiah and KJ both talked to the kids, kind of just about having your own business. I feel like growing up, we were never really. It was always instilled to me, like, go get your nine to five. Like, OK, you're going to be a lawyer, engineer, a doctor, something like that. Like nobody ever spoke to me about like, oh, be a business owner or like mm -hmm. even ha gave me that opportunity to even think about that. Um, so I think it was really cool that we were able to talk to the kids uh, while they're still in high school and young and able to kind of decide what they want to do in life and show them that there's more out there than the regular nine to five. Yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah. And then. um when the kids were at the store, they def they picked out like a lot of good pieces too for back to school. Yeah, so it was pretty fresh. nice to see, yeah, the kids pick out like polo shirts that we thought I didn't think anything of it. These kids were were, were very excited for their stuff, but yeah, yeah. and they enjoyed it. And it's then juicy, yeah, what else to get? <laughs> um, someone else shoes. A lot of people, a lot of people yeah, got shoes too. We had like shoes. some like decently very good priced like used shoes that they all picked up. Which Not was even nice. Used. There was like new. There was as a, well. yeah, one we new, a uh, brand 2. new. Yeah, Jordan two low, brand new. He, I guess it was like one sixty, and the guy picked it up, yeah. and then then the guy picked up a shoe for like one eighty and like two hundred. But yeah, it was good, man, and it was nice to see them go back to school fresh. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I feel like that was the highlight of our. I want to say of our year, even yeah, yeah, other yeah. than being on the news, like. I feel like good good weather, like, yeah, we're a sneaker and shoot, we're a brand, but we're more than that. We're also a community as well. So any way that we can give back to our community and build our community, I feel like. Is a positive, is a win for us, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's what keeps me going, even when the times are tough, that, like, it's not just for us, it's for, it's for everyone else. else. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Fourth quarter, what happened fourth quarter? Fourth quarter, you know, we uh, we stocked up for uh, for the good old Christmas rush. We got some good steals and deals for 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 Christmas and all that for the holiday season, and we actually hired our first employee. Um, Shout out to Joyce to do some like online SEO stuff and all that, which was pretty good. Definitely well needed at this time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, me personally, I had a good Christmas. You know, business wise, we had a good Christmas. Yeah. Boxing day was good. We uh, knocked out the park. But yeah, going forward, we definitely do want to have like weekly sales, I'll say. Um, 
stuff, new offers for our customers, you know, when you guys come Always in. Always something new when you come in. Yeah. Mm. You guys get to see it, not the same Jordan 4, but a new Jordan 4, an old one. Something something that, you know, that makes you, you want to come by every yeah, time. Yeah, and something for everybody, like... Something always in your size, like whether it's clothes, shoes, vintage, yeah. even a hat. You know, some people got small heads. Some people got big heads. <laughs> yeah. 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 Our goal next year is to have like, I guess, um, a really big selection in every single size. So like if you come in and you're looking for a Jordan 4, there's like four Jordan 4s in your size. There's like two Jordan 3s. There's everything you ever want. So, yeah. Yeah. So that I guess that was like the recap of our year in terms of like what we were able to do in terms of goals and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I guess now we can get into like three quick questions. Like, so my first question for you is as a, if you could start the year all over again with good weather, what would you do differently? I would be right here where I am right now. Huh? You were quick with that answer. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would be legit right here. I would be like behind the camera creating more content. Honestly, that's what I would do. And just do it consistently throughout the year. So this year, you're going to see my face way more often. You're going to be <laughs> sick of him. You're going to be sick of me. I'm sick of this guy. <laughs> but yeah, don't be. You're going to see me every day on, on your feed. So so embrace the smile. <laughs> 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 what would you do differently? Um, I think being consistent. Like, there are times where I would check our social media. So I basically post a, a like all of the reels and stuff and TikToks. And I feel like there were times where I would just be burnt out because of like um, other things that I'm doing in my life that there was like, there'd be like a week that would pass by without me posting. And that's not good. That should not, not at happen. All. Not at all. <laughs> that should not happen. Um, so definitely I think being more consistent because that helps us to increase our reach and continue to build our community. Um, so yeah, being more consistent, posting more. Y'all are going to see us every day. <laughs> So prepare to be sick of us. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's what I would do different, differently if I could start the year over. Uh, what's your favorite item in the store right now? Damn. Honestly, um, we have a flannel that's $35 right now. That is my favorite item in the store. Uh, should I get it? Nah. nah okay. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll throw up a picture here. Um, but yeah, it's literally, it's like, it's Eddie Bauer. So it's thick quality. I love me some flannels to just throw on when I'm feeling cold, especially with the weather right now. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite item in the store right now. A $35 Eddie Bauer flannel. That's good. That sounds like the vintage selection is really nice. Now you like it. That's nice to hear. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think for me, my favorite item in the store, this is a hard one, honestly. Actually, I know what it is. It's, this has been my favorite item for so long and it's, it's gonna if when the, when the shoe sells it will change, but it's um a woman's dunk. It's the it's the Easter dunk. I'll pop yeah. it up right here. That's been my favorite item for so long, and it's still here. Someone I don't know please why. come take it. It's a nice one too. I think it's seven and a half, right? Yeah, it's a seven. Oh, uh, seven and a half. Seven and a half women's Easter dunk. Um. Okay. Last question. What is your favorite thing about owning Good Weather? Um. My favorite thing is that. So I used to work nine to five. I used to work in insurance. And um, my favorite thing about owning a sneaker store is that I'm my own boss. It's uh, it's pros and cons to it, honestly. At the same time, I have no one to, uh, that's breathing down my back. I got no one to email saying I need a day off. I'm sick. <laughs> Bro, I'm, if I'm sick, I just, you know, I'll take some time off. Not Not the whole day, but I'll take, you know, half hour off, come in a bit late. But yeah. Um, I guess that's like the pro is that I'm now my own boss. I think that's why I really like being a sneaker store owner. I guess even with that, there's like a lot of, I'm not going to say cons, but there's a lot of things that go into being your own boss. Like you definitely have to be a very disciplined and um, yeah, you need, you need to strive for the greatest, honestly, because there's some days when you don't feel like even getting out of bed, you got to get out of bed and put your best foot forward or you're not going to get a sale to be honest. So, yeah, yeah, you definitely got to try your best in everything. What about you? What's your favorite part? Um, I kind of mentioned this before, but I think the community that we're building here, there's so many great people that we've met through Good Weather that we never would have been able to meet. The community that we've been able to build at Good Weather, honestly, like, I feel yeah, like... Yeah, it's pretty it's fun, honestly. Like It's you, fun, yeah. yeah. And it really feels like, like, they feel like family and, mm -hmm. like... 
really part of the good weather clan, you know, like definitely makes me smile coming into work. It's not even work. It's, it's our life. <laughs> it's our <laughs> life really. But yeah, the community that we're building here at Good Weather, um, I feel like every day it continues to grow and that is like throwing events and giving back to our community. That's what I love the most about being able to own Good Weather. Nice. That was good. That was a very good answer, to be okay. honest. Thank you. So let's just do a quick little sign out. Remember to go ahead and follow us at shopgoodweather.com. <laughs> I guess that's the website, but yeah, Instagram, the same thing. Shop, shop good, good weather. weather. TikTok. Shop Good Weather. YouTube. Shop Good Weather. Period. Pinterest. Shop Good Weather if you're on Pinterest. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much, guys, for rocking with us. Hope you guys have a happy new year. And uh, you'll be seeing more of us, so don't get sick of us. Mm.